champion. The next offensive position from Greco Parterra is just your basic gut wrench. And it's going to come from the same exact setup when my opponent's crawling forward. We're going to pin him down with our shoulder and put our back leg in the hip pocket. Now, this time, instead of coming all the way up, maybe you just can't, you don't feel like the, the lift is there coming to your feet. You just got to take them all the way through. The key is driving through, driving over your inside leg that's in the hip pocket and driving right over this arm. So again, I'm gonna get to that lock, chest down, arm down to the mat, lift, sneak that arm under. I've got the lock, I readjust, I come forward, crash through my shoulder, back leg comes to the hip pocket, front leg goes to that, front leg goes to the armpit. Now, again, maybe I don't feel like I've got a whole lot of leverage to come up. So I'm just gonna drive up, drive through, I got the hips up, and now my bottom leg sneaks under. I've got him here loaded, and now I just pop him through. Getting to that gut wrench position, I'm gonna use the same exact setup. Getting my shoulder high on the shoulder blades, pressuring down so they can't crawl forward anymore. Get my back leg pinned right in that hip pocket. Instead of lifting, maybe I don't feel like I can load them up onto my hip. I'm gonna take them through for a gut wrench. So very simple, lining up on the left again. Hands down, anticipate the whistle. I get my lock, I readjust my position, my shoulder crashes right away, boom. Back leg, my right leg comes to the hip pocket, front leg goes to that armpit. Again, I'm driving, I got the right pressure. I don't feel like I can come up or load them up with my hips. My bottom leg now is my left leg. I'm just gonna punch it under, they're loaded, and now I pop them through. This is a slight variation of Leo's gut wrench. However, he puts his knee to the hip pocket this time. When your opponent goes to a wide base, knees wide, butt back, arms wide out front, you still have the same shoulder pressure, but this time you put your knee in the hip pocket instead of your foot. Liu continues driving through his shoulder and over his opponent's head, and then scissors his bottom leg, the knee that was inside. Liu now has a shelf to load his opponent up and lift and mount the throw. The final phase of the throw requires you to step your outside leg up closer underneath your opponent and then launch the throw.